So I started playing with this in my live stream the other day and decided I would turn on the camera and just kind of take you through some of the thoughts I have on going forward with it. And to be honest, when I started this in the live, it was all about just playing and experimenting with some of these materials. And what I was most attracted to was this rat tail cord. And then I just, I don't know, I just decided to play with it here. And so one of the things I did in the live is I had some knots. And to do that, I really just grabbed some of it and just started making knots, not trying to make any kind of fancy macrame knots. I just was piling knots on top of knots. I really enjoy knots and like the texture that they add. The other thing I did is I took some organza ribbon and I just did a gathering stitch down the center and that's how I got this and I used another ribbon to get the little bit in here and then I thought well what if I had some of this stuff sticking up and so I just kind of tried to make it stick straight up and that was kind of a challenge I did finally find off camera if I cut the pieces first and I could take like a beading needle and I could stitch through there. So I think that's something I will do some more of. And because this rat tail has normally this cord in the center that's kind of stiff, I was able to pull a little bit of it out and that's what gave me this fluffy bits. So now I'm at the what's next. I'm going to make some more of these and I don't know if I want to bring in this other shade of green or not. I might. I'm um, also, I had looked at pom-poms, but as somebody pointed out in my live stream, they're just a little too perfect for me, and I'm just not sure that they're going to work. I also had this wonderful green sisal that pulls apart really nicely and makes some neat little stuff, so I may or may not add more of that in there. I have um, this tool in these two colors. And this is really nice. Um, I might just kind of blend. I was playing with the idea of kind of gathering those and blending them to, to put in here just for some more texture. Other things I have, I've got this wonderful sparkly stuff and it's got just a very hint of green. So I might add some of that in there. I really think what I'm gonna do first though is a whole bunch more knots. I also pulled out some other interesting green things to play with. I might do just some small gathers of this, but it's rather light. I don't think that's the right family, color family, I mean. And I've got this, which definitely goes with it, so I can use some of that. I've got this furry stuff, and it's got all these different shades in there. Yeah, I'm not, maybe, maybe that little bit might work. And I've got this, so when they've got the multicolors on them like this, I usually end up pulling them apart. I'm not sure. Let's just grab a chunk. And just see how it gathers. I think that might look kind of neat, kind of gathered up and tacked down just around the knots. What else did I bring out? had this the other day and I love it, but I'm just not quite sure how I want to use it on it. I do think I might use some of this kind of couch down. It might be more around the edges and then I can figure, uh, I can imagine putting some beads in there. And then I went and got my rocks. I had two kinds of rocks I was thinking of. I have a bunch of these that are greens, so I could, and the occasional dog hair in there, I could put piles of them in there. They kind of get lost. I may have to go looking through my beads some more. I also have these guys, and I could maybe make like a rock pile and then put some more knots around that. I kind of like that idea. And then I had these and I just, I think it might be too big, but oh, that color is so gorgeous. I wonder, let's see, where's the hole? Cause that would affect how it's going to sit. 
I wonder if that would be too much. I think they're all about the same size, but I really like that glass in there. So I think I'm going to start with more knots and I'm just going to make random. I can do knots on top of knots. I just, there's something about this and the shine. It all seems to work together really nicely. I wonder if, now that might be interesting. Huh. That would definitely hold that down. Ooh, I'm thinking that might be something to play with. Okay. I've got an idea. And to be honest, I really just started this piece thinking I wanted to experiment with what kind of different textures I could come up with. And that's what a lot of my art is for me, is just trying to figure out what I like and, and is this going to do something that I find interesting. I don't really plan my pieces very much other than a color that I want to work in. All right, to make these knots easier, I'm just going to cut a chunk of this cord. And I'll probably do another one, but this does make it easier. And how about if we do a few knots and then I'm going to slide that bead on there because I think that will make it work. I think they're all the same size, but let's see. Uh, some of them may lay a little flatter. Isn't it funny how you can look at something like this and they all look the same, except they're not. They're different. And I like the way this one lays. All right, that decision's made. I don't have to use this. I can change my mind. None of this is brain surgery, so I don't have to be feeling like I have to do it a certain way. And I really love being able to take that pressure off myself. There we go. That made it. All right. So that's going to hold that on there, and now I'm just going to do knots right up to it. Okay. I don't know what it is about making knots. I have heaps and heaps of fabric that I have torn into strips and made into knots and eventually I'm going to do some things with them but there's just something very satisfying about tying knots. I don't think it's the finality of the knots. I just um, it's the it's the experience of making that loop and tying it. I don't know. Maybe somebody else has an idea about why knots are so satisfying but I know I'm not the only one. So I want a line of them, but every so often I can come back and knot on top of itself so I get a bigger knot. Because see, the idea is going to be, yeah, just one of these, and I'm probably going to then do some more of this and a whole lot more of that. A little of this, a little of that, and something that we did not plan on takes on a life of its own. And I think that's what I love most about making art just because. There are no rules, there is no destination in mind, and because I have all that pressure off of me, I can just create for the fun of it. I can just have a blast playing around and then not feel bad if I, oh my goodness, I use this material, it's so expensive. I have no, I don't remember what I paid for it, but I mean, I, I used to freak out about using up my materials and thinking, I'm wasting materials. No, I'm wasting my life if I don't give in to follow the urge to create. It helps me be in the moment. It helps me be here, be now. I mean, I like this. We've got some thick knots. We've got some not so thick knots. And I think I'm definitely going to want some more long pieces of knots. All right, so I'm going to figure out how I want that to go. We'll have more knots in here. And I definitely want to add 
something with this. And we have this around the outside. Yeah. All right. So with this, let me, okay, I do have one needle threaded and put a knot on here. What I found with the eyelash stuff, you can do a few things. You can just cut a small chunk and put it in there. But this one, I want to, I think, make it pretty fluffy. Let's see what that's going to look like. Yeah, we want, we want the fluff. And actually, I wished I'd done that as a double thread. So I'm going to re-thread my needle. All right, so I like to do a double thread because it does make it easier when I'm doing that sort of a gather because I don't have really a place to anchor the knot. So I tie my double knot and I have just looped this around my fingers and I'm not trying to make it exactly in the center because the more off-center it is to me, the more natural it looks. And so I have that and I'm just going to kind of wrap it a few times. Okay, more than a few times. And then... I want to get a knot in here a couple times before I cut anything. All right, and now I'm holding it like this before I stitch it down. I'm going to cut my loops. And I can always give it more of a haircut. Um, you know, I'm going to have little stuff flying all over the place. And again, I'm not worried about that. I'm not going for perfection. I'm going for something that looks organic. All right, this I love. I got all of the loop. No, maybe there's another one in here. But look at that. Isn't that wonderful? That just looks like some wild thing. All right. Let's get this off of here. Mostly. And I still have my needle there. in here. Okay, if I'm going to have, where am I going to have my glass? Maybe I have my glass over here. Hmm. Kind of like that. I kind of like the weight of the glass over here. So I'm going to save this aside. All right, if I want to stitch this down, I'm going to use a beading needle because the uh, thickness in that rat tail makes it hard to go through it with anything else. Okay, so if this is going to tuck in there, So I have to decide what I want to do with this little part here. don't know if I can make it actually sit upright, but I might be able to. Perhaps if I cut more off. 
then I'll have just a little bit sticking out. It's fiddly. It's always more fiddly when you're working on camera, or at least for me. All right, now what I didn't do that I should have done first is try to grab my little centerpiece before I started stitching things down. Uh, I need the other tweezers. I think these did a better job. So I'm just kind of, I've got a hold of the center and I'm just sort of pulling the edges of the cord down until I can get enough of that center to start to come up. There we go. So I have just a little bit of that thread coming up, and that's all I need. Somehow that seems to make the difference in giving me those little fuzzy bits. And let's do this one while we're here. And I did try to see, I cut a small chunk to see if I could get the whole center out because I just love these frays. But I found um, it, I could only let go so far. I have no idea how they're manufactured, so maybe they do something. Maybe there's some adhesive or something inside that part way. But I just need a little bit because I just think it looks like a little um, sea creature with the fuzzy parts. There we go. I'm going to cut that little tip off. All right, now we'll go back to sewing. And in the early stages like this, I often don't worry if I've got everything down 100% because I might decide to take something off. It happens. And then I can always come back, you know, before I'm completely done with a piece, then I'll come back over everything and make sure I've got it nice and secure. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to like this in there. But see, I might want to leave a little bit of space for something else. I don't know yet. Yeah, I kind of like it smushed in there. As I'm looking at this now, I can see I'm going to want to do more of these wonderful satiny kind of knots. And I just find I enjoy the work so much more if I let the materials I'm using help me tell the story. If I don't go into it with a preconceived idea of what it's going to be. Because every time I try that, I end up redoing things a gazillion times. So I'm trying to get to where I can keep that upright just a little bit, but that may not be possible. All right, I think I'm going to tell myself just to hold on because there's going to be some more going there, but let's take a look at this little thing now. And it could go right here. It could go right here. It could go in here. So you just see a hint of that glass there. Ooh, I kind of like that. Or it could go in here. Hmm. Huh. I actually think I kind of like it in there, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to go down into this center part. I like that a lot. So I love it. I did not think I was going to be able to use that glass bead here, but I think it turned out really well. I'm definitely going to make some more of these. And off camera, I'm going to go knot a whole bunch more of this rat tail cord, and then I'll be back to do some more with you.